I'm loving YouTube. Rival Gaming here. <laughs> All right, thanks for checking out this video, everyone. What I'm about to be showing you is absolutely insane, and I have to admit, it is kind of fun to go try it out in PvE. I don't suggest doing this in PvP, and honestly, you can't even do this much in the PvP world unless you get a map that you can use sparrows in, such as Bastion, uh, First Light, and Skyshock. So yeah, I think there's only like three maps in the PvP world that you can use sparrows in, which I'll be first demonstrating it here with the Blade Dancer on Skyshock. But first, I want to give credit where credit is due. I don't know technically who is the original founder of this glitch, but I will say I did recently learn this from a guy named Jewboy300. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. The dude is always posting some interesting glitches, so big props to him for introducing me to this. Anyways, let's get into this. The title was not clickbait, guys. I know some of you guys are probably thinking, dude, there's no way, no way we can have Infinity Blade Dancer and Infinity Sunbreaker. But it's true, you can have an infinity amount of hammers being thrown and an infinity amount of Blade Dance. It's really simple, too. Honestly, you might even be able to do this with the Warlock. I wasn't able to get it down with the Warlock, but hey, if you guys want to give it a try, and if it works for you, maybe leave in the comments saying it worked. So all you have to really do, it's a really simple concept. It's just really random getting it to work. I'll make sure I slow down me performing this glitch for y'all so you guys can kind of see around the time you want to activate your Blade Dancer at the same time of hopping on your Sparrow. That is how this is done. So, you know, just spawn up your Sparrow and then hop off your Sparrow. You want to make sure you have a super ready to use. And then what you want to do is activate your super at the same time you are hopping on your sparrow. I messed up on my first go here. Actually, to be completely honest with you, oh, this took me quite a few tries to be able to get this to work. It's pretty random because you have to get this right on the spot to get this to activate. Now, how you can tell if this is working is down below at the bottom left, as you can see, it says my blade dancer is active with the infinity sign next to it. And what you want to do at this part, this is a very important part, make sure not to hop off your sparrow thinking it works like, alright, I'm going to go have some fun now. No, don't do it quite yet. You want to then swap your primary with, you know, anything, and then swap back to the original primary. That basically tricks the game into making you have your super forever. As you can see here, I'm just having a bit of fun with the blade dancer. And yes, I have it forever. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I hope I do not see someone using this in the PvP world. It's going to be very rare if you do. Once again, there isn't that many maps with a Sparrow. I think Bastion, Skyshock, and First Light. So I think there's only really three maps that this could actually be done in the PvP world. But the interesting thing about this, and I highly suggest Glitchers to go try this out, maybe you can find certain exploits while using this glitch. If you think about it, you now have an infinity amount of super to use, so maybe you could find some secret glitches in the game. I'm just throwing that out there for all you guys that are interested in finding glitches. I do not suggest you guys using this in the Crucible because this is a game-breaking glitch, and there is a big chance that you will end up getting reported and possibly banned over this. I don't know. I do recommend, though, if you want to go try this out, try it in a custom game with some friends. As you can see, that's what I'm doing currently in this gameplay footage. I'm just playing around with a friend of mine, showing it off to him. Let me just say his mind was blown that this was able to be done. Alright, now let me go ahead and demonstrate it with the Titan using the Sunbreaker. I do it this time in the PvE world. It's basically the same concept. All you gotta do is wait for your super to come up, and then, when your super is up, just hop off your Sparrow. Well, you don't have to necessarily be on your Sparrow. Just spawn a Sparrow, then hop off it. And then what you want to do is start getting on your Sparrow and activate your super at the same time. I'll go ahead and try to slow it down here. Try to get the point on where exactly you want to get the super to activate. Because let me just say, this took me quite a bit of times to get this to work in the PvE world. Because if I failed it, it wasn't like Mayhem Clash or Mayhem Rumble. I was able to get back my super extremely fast. No, I had to actually kill enemies and get my super back. So it's definitely more of a process to try to do this in the PvE world. But once you get it to work, it is extremely useful. And I don't really see why Bungie would ban someone over using this in the PvE world because it's not affecting other people's gameplay, if you get what I'm saying. All it is is really helping you and the other players that you're playing with. So it's like a win-win in a way. But in the PvP world, that's a whole different story. Anyways, yeah, as you guys saw, you just want to switch your primary to something and then switch it back to that same primary. And then just hop off your Sparrow. And how you know if it's working is once again, the infinity sign of your Sunbreaker will be in the bottom left while you are on your Sparrow. You will have some times when you get on your Sparrow 
while you popped your uh, Sunbreaker and nothing will happen and then once you hop off your Sparrow you'll still have your Sunbreaker to activate. That's nice because you still have a chance to get this to work but then there will be a lot of times where you get on your Sparrow trying to get this to work and then when you get off it you don't have your Super and you have to go try to get it again and find an area where you can spawn your Sparrow at before going into the mission. So yeah, pretty much what I'm trying to say, it's definitely a process but it's definitely useful. Right now, I don't think doing this in the Nightfall is going to be useful because I don't think you can spawn your Sparrow in the specific one that we got right now. Who knows, though, in the future for the next Nightfall. But what I do know is Bungie is going to patch this extremely fast. And I also know you're going to see a lot of other YouTubers upload this same glitch that I'm showing you guys. So be prepared to be seeing this pop up from a lot of other YouTubers. I just wanted to let you guys know real quick before I completely wrap this video up though, I have started my second giveaway, which this giveaway is going to be a longer of a process until I finalize it because I'm giving out 5,000 silver codes. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to give you a code from a card so you guys can get the points to purchase a thousand silver. So yeah, once again, there will be five winners and how you enter this giveaway, and I'm going to be checking who liked my videos and commented on my videos, but you want to start back to a mind blowing glitch in the Dreadnought. I'll leave where I started this whole giveaway at in the description. So yeah, just go to that video and then what you want to do is just show some love by commenting and also leave a like. And also you want to follow my Twitch, which will be in the description of this video and all my other future videos as well. But all you gotta do is just keep up to date, show some love until two weeks from now, I believe now it's about a week and a half from now, and then I'll be finalizing the decision and seeing who was actually dedicated enough to do that for all my videos until you know my final one. How I'm gonna be checking that is just pressing Control F and then typing in people's usernames that I've seen often throughout the comments. And also I'm gonna be checking your guys' liked playlist, or you could just easily send me all the videos that you have liked for two weeks straight to my Twitter, which my Twitter will be in the description. Remember, you have to like every video from A Glitch to Blow Your Mind in the Dreadnoughts and whatever I have uploaded after that video. So hopefully that makes sense. Just show proof that you liked each video and send it to me. I feel like that's a proper giveaway. I'll be giving this to the people that are dedicated enough to do that and that actually want the silver. You know, some people might participate in a few videos saying, yeah, I want the silver. All right, rifle, you rack. Woohoo, yay. And then, you know, they don't show up in any other of my future videos and they think I'll just select them. I won't, trust me. I'm gonna be seeing people that are actually dedicated in this giveaway. And I'm gonna be making a video showing proof of the winners that I felt were dedicated enough to win this thousand silver. Once again, there will be five winners. I feel like since there's five winners, more people will participate because there will be more winners. I feel like that's fair. There's not just going to be one winner. There will be five winners. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this crazy glitch. So yeah, once again, to enter this giveaway, just like all my videos from a glitch to blow your mind in the dreadnought all the way up until I finalize my decision of this giveaway, which it'll be two weeks from a glitch to blow your mind in the dreadnought because that's when I began this giveaway. And also, if you can, follow my Twitch. That isn't a have to, but it's definitely appreciated. And it also definitely lets me know that you guys are dedicated to get this silver. Anyways, yeah, I'm out of here now, everybody. I'll shut up. Thanks for watching and listening, and good luck with the giveaway. Peace.